Wilfried Breyer, Abvi. Chemistry goes green, from organic solvents to water. In the next uh, three minutes, I would like to take you on a journey to green chemistry. So state of the art is that the majority of all chemical reactions are carried out in organic solvents. There are a number of drawbacks using organic solvents. Uh, 60 to 90% of the waste created in the pharmaceutical industry is related to the use of organic solvents. Organic solvents are expensive. Uh, you have to buy them, you have to dispose them. And as we just learned, it can be toxic and flammable or explosive. Uh, the reactions usually require high temperatures. Next slide. Um, so several years ago, three years ago, a new technology was uh, published which allows actually to carry out uh, chemical reactions in water using micelles. And this was done by Professor Lipschutz. He uses these vitamin E derived surfactants. They are uh, benign and FDA approved as a soup food supplement. So the solvent is water. Uh, with 2% of these benign surfactants. Water is cheap, non-toxic, non-flammable. Uh, Novartis has taken this chemistry to the next level. They have done reactions now on a 100 kilogram scale, and they have shown the advantages uh, that it's faster, cheaper, more efficient than doing the chemistry in organic solvents, and also less waste is generated. So we also have a collaboration with Professor Lipschitz, who is the key opinion leader. In the meantime, we have come up with our own process. Uh, solvent is also water with a colitic amount of a benign additive, which I can't disclose because we just filed a patent application on this process. What we notice actually that the reactions are typically much faster and cleaner. And I want to show this on the next slide, please. Uh, please go further, two more clicks. So uh, on the left, you can see a typical reaction, which is for the chemistry lovers in the audience. It's a book called Hartwig Emanation, uh, which requires temperatures of 130 degrees, 72 hours, 75% yield. When you do this in my cells, you can do this reaction at room temperature at 10 hours and 75% isolated yield. With our proprietary process, we do this at room temperature, five minutes, 95% isolated yields. If we increase the temperature to 90, uh, to 90 seconds, uh, then we uh, get a yield of 97%. If you could click again, please. So, in principle, we have also shown that it's possible to replace organic solvents by performing chemical reactions in water. So there are si significant advantages uh, associated with this. So what is ongoing right now is the investigation of the reaction mechanism of our new technology. Right away, 17 out of 18 <coughs> reaction types actually worked right away. Uh, the reactions are not limited to metal catalyzed reactions. Actually, we can do peptide couplings uh, which proceed in less than two minutes. And it's quite remarkable because in a peptide coupling, actually, you exclude water from the reaction. And we do this reaction in water. We can also do multi step uh, synthesis by just adding more reagents, a four step, one part reaction. One last click. And we believe this technology actually has uh, the potential to change the synthetic chemistry as we know it. Thank you. <laughs>